Hello everybody, it's Kara. In today's video, I wanted to tell you about a few anthologies my short fiction was published in in 2022. First was Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Watson Medical Mysteries, Volume 2. And this was published by Bellinger Books, who publishes a lot of Sherlock Holmes anthologies. So these two volumes are Sherlock Holmes stories with the theme of medical mysteries. And this was my contribution, The Adventure of Wolford Village, which takes place in 1881, not long after A Study in Scarlet, <clears throat> which was the first Sherlock Holmes story Sir Arthur Conan Doyle wrote. <clears throat> Second, we have Mirror Mirror. This is an anthology published by Iron Fairy Publishing, and this is, this is a book of fairy tale retellings. And it's fairy tale retellings with a twist, because each story features a mirror as the twist. Once upon a time isn't all it's cracked up to be. Delve into the fairy tales you thought you knew. Here I am, and my contribution to this anthology was a story called The Witch and the Frog, which was a retelling of the Frog Prince. Third, we have short horror stories by Shacklebound Books, Horror in a Hundred Words. Short Horror Stories is an anthology of horror drabbles, stories of exactly 100 words. Within its pages are dark morsels, creepy moments, and spooky, spine-chilling tales. My contribution to this was a story called Lore. And fourth, at first glance, this is the first volume in Dark Rose Press's Destined Drabble series. Your eyes meet, your breath catches, and your head spins. Desire, lust, love, at first glance. And this anthology actually features two Drabbles by me, When I Saw Him and Bad Rumors. So, I am really happy to be able to say that I am part of all of these in four, com four different genres, too. And there will be more in 2023, because I'm going to be in two future anthologies by Iron Fairy Publishing, two upcoming ones, and I'm going to be in another horror anthology in the future. And I look forward to, be ab to being able to tell you guys about those in 2023. So, that's it for now. Bye!